गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्रेडिट आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड यू ऑल विल रिमेन इन क्वारंटीन ड्यू टू करोना आउटब्रेक करोना वायरस आउटब्रेक सो आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक आवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन माई लास्ट वीडियो कैन यू नो दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव which is reproduction and development and we have taken our first topic gametes so now we are going to take our second topic which is human reproductive system and i am your teacher aruj tarik and our course for today is cambridge checkpoint science 8 okay the very very first question that why do we need to reproduce and the answer is one to ensure the survival of species or to ensure the survival of humans if we will not reproduce then there will be no humans on earth remaining okay so we have to reproduce so that humans can survive okay if we will not if we will not reproduce all the humans will be extinct there will be no humans on earth so to ensure the survival of species of human species we have to reproduce okay so our topic is the human reproductive system first of all we will go toward the male reproductive system this is a very simple picture from your book which is showing the male reproductive system okay it has urethra testes sperm duct pen- penis and seminal vesicles and prostate glands so we will study all of them one by one we will see their functions also so first of all we will start with testis testis what is the function of testis testis produce sperm and what is sperm cell the male reproductive cells okay then testis are also known as testicles or gonads if you say testis testicles gonads all of three are same and what is the function of testis they produce sperm cells okay and this in this picture you can see that i have highlighted the sperm this is a sperm and it oh sorry this is testis and it produces sperm next we are going to study seminal vesicles and prostate glands so first of all we will study what is the function seminal vesicles and prostate glands they produce a sugar rich fluid okay for sperm cells so why they produce sugar rich fluid number 1 it provides energy to sperm and number 2 it help sperm cells to swim if we have already seen the last lecture that you will know that sperm cells have a tail which help them to swim and it swim to the egg cell and then fertilization happens it produce into an embryo and embryo develops into a baby after 9 months and in this picture you can see that i have highlighted seminal vesicles and prostate glands So, what is the function? It produces a sugar-rich fluid for sperm cells, and it helps sperm cells to provide energy, and it help in help the sperm cells to swim. Next, we have sperm duct, urethra, and penis. Sperm duct and urethra they carry the sperm, and penis it is the male sex organ. In this picture. you can see 
that sperm duct and urethra they carry the sperm look where is urethra this is urethra and this is sperm duct now look it carry the sperm testes make the sperm and sperm will go from there from sperm duct to urethra okay so this is a passage to carry the sperm cell next journey of sperm this picture is showing you the journey of sperm look number 1 testes they produce the sperm they produce the sperm okay this sperm will go from the sperm duct to the seminal vesicles and prostate glands here these seminal vesicles and prostate glands they produce a sugar rich fluid which help them to sperm uh, to swim and it also provide energy to the sperm and then this sperm will go from prostate gland to urethra and it will then come out through the penis okay now this is clear testes sperm duct the seminal vesicles and prostate glands they produce fluid then it go will go from urethra to the penis okay it is very simple this topic is very very simple in reality it is very complex topic but according to your course you just have to know very little information so it is very easy for you okay then at the end we will sum up the whole lecture now we go toward the female reproductive system this is a picture of female reproductive system from your own book it is showing ovary duct ovary uterus uterus lining and vagina and like male reproductive system we will study the each part and its function number 1 we have ovaries ovaries are oval shaped glands that are located on either side of uterus okay let's see in this picture you have oval like glands on either side of the uterus this is uterus okay so you have oval glands on either side of uterus okay so what is the function of ovary they produce eggs and hormones okay in adult woman one egg cell leaves one ovary each month this process is called ovulation so what is ovulation that one ovary oh, sorry one egg cell leaves one ovary each month if you have seen the last lecture i have told you in the lecture that in females there is only one egg cell released in one month and how many sperm cells are there millions okay so the production of one egg cell from each from one ovary each month is called ovulation so ovaries are oval glands that are located on either side of uterus they produce eggs and hormones and in adult women one egg cell leaves one ovary each month this is called ovulation okay oviduct name ovi from ovaries and duct means a tube okay tiny hair like where is oviduct let me tell you okay the, can you see these tubes can you see these tubes okay these are oviduct okay inside these tubes there are tiny hair like structures which are called cilia cells okay which move eggs slowly along along the oviduct okay i will share a video with you okay in which you can see the cilia cells it will cover starting from the sperm cells and it will end at the fertilization and 
if you see this video this topic will be will become more and more clear to you so oviduct inside oviduct there are tiny hair like structures okay you can say that this is tube so there are tiny hair like structures okay and these tiny st structures which are called cilia cells this move cells slowly along the oviduct okay and fertilization happens in oviduct okay next uterus and vagina uterus zygote develop zygote travels from i have told you that fertilization happens in oviduct so after fertilization when zygote is formed this zygote travels to uterus and baby develop and grows inside the uterus vagina it is the female sex organ and here in this picture you can see that i have i have highlighted this is uterus and this hole is vagina okay here fertilization will happen and after fertilization zygote travels to the uterus and here in the uterus the zygote will develop into the baby and vagina is the female sex organ and now we will see the journey of egg cell here in this picture you can see that first of all we have here ovary egg cell develops in the ovary it travels from oviduct okay to the oviduct here fertilization will happen and then the zygote will be implanted on the uterus so this is the journey of egg cell simple now we are going to repeat this whole topic just a quick revision okay we will start we have started the topic human reproductive system first of all why do we need to reproduce to ensure the survival of species to ensure the survival of humans okay first of all sorry first of all we will study the male reproductive system this is a very simple picture of uh, male reproductive system it has prostate gland seminal vesicles sperm duct testes urethra and penis testes testes what is the function of testes they produce sperm and testes are also known as testicles and gonads and this is a picture in which you can see the testes okay they produce sperm sperm cells are male reproductive cells then we have seminal vesicles and prostate glands they produce a sugar rich fluid for sperm cells and why they produce this sugar rich fluid because it helps sperm cells to provide energy and it helps sperm cells in swimming in this picture you can see in pink you have prostate gland and in white you have seminal vesicles then you have sperm duct urethra and penis sperm duct and urethra they carry the sperm and male sex organ is penis in this picture you can see that from sp from testes testes sperm duct will carry the okay one second okay here sperm will produce and sperm will be carried from testes to the urethra and then will it will go out through penis okay journey of sperm okay number 1 here sperm cell will produce then sperm duct it will go into the sperm duct and here the seminal vesicles and prostate glands they produce a sugar rich fluid 
which helps sperm cells to swim and it also gives energy to the sperm and then the sperm will be carried to the urethra and out with the help of penis simple now female reproductive system simple picture oviduct ovary uterus uterus lining and vagina now ovaries number 1 oval shaped glands that are located on either side of uterus on both sides of uterus okay then they produce eggs function of ovaries they produce eggs and hormones and in adult women one egg cell leave one ovary each time this is called ovulation and in the picture you can clearly see that there are two ovaries on each side of uterus okay and the process in which one egg cell leaves one ovary each month this process is called ovulation the word came from ovary ovulation that ovary is producing ovary one uh, sorry uh, ovary is producing egg one egg in one month oviduct name tells you that ovary ovary from ovary from ovary and duct means tube so oviduct what it will do it will move the egg cell tiny hair like structure on the wall of oviduct called cilia cell move eggs slowly along the oviduct and fertilization happens in the oviduct here in the picture you can clearly see the oviduct then we have uterus and vagina okay uterus zygote travels from ut oviduct to uterus because fertilization happens in oviduct so zygote will form and zygote will tra travel to uterus and here in the uterus the baby will be developed and vagina is the female sex organ in this picture you can see the uterus and the vagina journey of egg cell ovary produce number 1 ovary ovary produce the egg cells then oviduct then it will be carried into the oviduct in the oviduct the fertilization will happen and the embryo and sorry the zygote will be formed and number 3 uterus the zygote will be implanted on the uterus and the uterus will produce a new baby and inside the uterus a new baby will be produced i hope that this topic is clear because it is a very very simple topic you just know the parts of human reproductive system both male and female and their functions it is very simple but if if you still have any questions you can ask me on whatsapp in google classroom you can message me you can call me but please don't hesitate to ask if you have any doubt even a single one small doubt even a very small doubt don't hesitate to ask okay so this is that is it for today and best of luck